looks like the February 7th launch date for STS-130 may be in jeopardy. Usually when this happens, it's because of some sort of problem with the space shuttle or a logistics issue with other launches. This time, though, the issue is the payload. Node 3, or as we like to call it, Tranquility, is having some cooling issues. Originally, Tranquility was going to be attached to an Earth-facing port on the International Space Station. Then NASA managers later decided to mount the new node to the left side instead. The decision to move the node meant that the connectors needed to circulate ammonia coolant was in the wrong location. No problem. NASA ordered up some custom hoses to compensate. Problem is, these hoses are rupturing when put under pressure. Not all hope is lost. While the new hoses are breaking, it's at a much higher pressure than would normally be used on the International Space Station, just lower than what they should be able to tolerate. Engineers are looking at the situation to see what can be done. As it sits today, Endeavour will not be rolled back from the launch pad. Should STS-130 get delayed, then the orbital vehicle will get the crew and payload for STS-131 or 132, depending on what NASA managers decide to do. It's also possible that additional testing will find that the new hoses are indeed usable and the mission will go up as planned. Another possible scenario is that the mission will add tranquility to the ISS, but won't be brought fully online until STS-131 is able to fix the cooling issue. So we have a lot of options here. Some of them keep STS-130 on track to launch in February and others push it back. Regardless of the outcome, it was nice to learn that the ISS really is just a giant Lego kit floating in space. I guess Legoland at the Mall of America had it right after all.